My friends, today's video is sponsored by the company of whose chair I am sitting in. This is Ewin Racing and their sponsored video that they want me to talk about this Flash XL chair and how much I love it. And I'm absolutely gonna do it because I do love this chair. However, I do also wanna make this video more about also how this Ewin chair functions in my brand new setup that I've had to completely rearrange because my team has had to leave the United States. So now I am completely so here in America with my team being in South Africa. Which means that we gave up our 1700 square foot office that we had everything in and now I'm just making everything work in this 65 square foot room that I have in my house. Which means I've had to optimize a lot which is also part of where Ewin's chair comes into play. And before we get started with the rest of the video I do want to let you know that if you use the link in the video description go over to Ewin's website and use coupon code UFD you can save 30% off of any product that you purchase on their website it's a great deal they're a great product and you're gonna you're gonna save a little bit of money uh, using code UFD which that's, that's great good stuff save money especially this holiday shopping season it makes a lot of sense now let's talk about the chair first and foremost obviously because that's the whole point of this video it is the XL flash which means that it can support up to 550 pounds the gas piston that helps rise and lower the chair as well as the casters are rated to support one of the heaviest payloads that I've heard of in a gaming chair at 550 pounds obviously that is a lot but it's not just the fact that it can support a lot of weight it's also the fact that it has 22 inches of sideways room here at the base which allows you like somebody who's thinner like I am to be able to spread out and kind of enjoy your room in the seat or obviously if you have a wider base you can actually fit in this but on top of that it also is very maneuverable. The casters at the bottom honestly glide around on my, I guess this is linoleum floor, very easily. And it allows me to go from one section of my office to the other. And as I mentioned, this is only a 65 square foot room. So there's not much room to move around, but whatever station I need to be at for whatever I'm doing, the Ewin Flash XL allows me to do that. And its footprint, even though it is an XL chair, honestly doesn't get in the way too much so let's go ahead and start with where I'm at right now my workstation this is probably the thing that took me the longest to set up and I actually have a dedicated video coming out on my production PC right here later this weekend so stay tuned for that but this is where a lot of you are used to seeing me when I'm doing or filming hot news because I have my camera right here having the camera behind the monitor allows me to get all the extra desk space that I need as well as having the monitors on VESA arms means that I can have have all of my desk kind of actually kitted out to everything it needs to be. My Rodecaster Pro to control all of the audio that I have as well as my microphone that I use to record all of the audio for Hot News on as well as my Stream Deck XL for the streams that we do over on Twitch which you should totally check out because as this video is coming out right now 8 p.m. Eastern Time Wednesday the 25th I'm currently doing a live stream of a PC part bigger build contest if I could say that appropriately where the winner the one that I select is actually going to get one of our pay press F to pay respects t-shirts. So I have all of the desk laid out in every way that is functional for me. My iQuinix keyboard, which is great for everything that I'm doing. And then I have this station over here, which is where I do, ah! And then I have this station over here, which is where I do my live streams. We have an overhead cam setup that allows me to get a top-down shot of whatever we're doing on the desk. And if I wanna sit down, it really only takes me a quick swivel of my Flash XL gaming chair to get to the next station of where I need to work. So we have both my production station, but then also my building area to be able to do everything. And as I'm sitting, the Flash XL, I mean, honestly, it just allows me to rotate, but it does so because it's comfy. Because one of the key things about the Ewin chairs is the fact that they have a cold cure foam, which is twice as dense as most gaming chairs foams, which actually feels really comfortable. I have zero issues sitting in this chair for multiple hours of the day. It actually allows me to get all of my work done without having back problems at the end of the day or having my legs feel fatigued. Honestly, this these are some of the most comfortable gaming chairs that I've ever used and I'm more than happy to use them all day and I've been using it full time ever since they sent a chair over in October and I've had zero desire to go back to any other chair. 
Now, also one of the key features of my setup is not just the fact that I have a giant L-shaped desk, but also the fact that it's a sit-stand desk. This is a desk from Autonomous. This is their L-shaped sit-stand desk, which this is actually how I typically film hot news, as you can see right here, standing up because I feel like it gives a better energy for me when I'm talking to be on my feet. I can bounce around a bit more and get two things. But now, as you can see, there's something different in this shot, and that is this light right here. This light is actually something that I use to illuminate the background, but because I have to optimize space, I don't have a whole lot of room, I've gone through the pleasure of mounting everything to the wall so that I can completely pivot and put it wherever I want, which makes my life a whole lot easier. You can also see that for the lighting that we have going on for the streaming set, we have an overhead cam that is mounted directly to the wall, as well as my key light for all of my filming bounces off of a sound blanket there at the back, and then there is my fill light right there. Now, this camera is also on the same situation as this light right over here. It is on an arm mounted to the wall that allows me to swing it around and position it wherever I want to be filming. So if I want to do it over here at my benchmarking station, well, I can simply do that. And I can also go ahead and sit down in my Ewin chair over here and work at this station. So no matter where I'm working, having the E-Win chair go back and forth between the stations, again, slides around easily because of the casters, but also I can move the lighting, I can move the cameras to wherever I wish, and it allows me a lot more flexibility for filming on my own in such a small space. Now, currently right here, you can see that there are two TVs that are currently set up. That is because I'm currently doing a video on OLED versus LED TVs, especially for next generation gaming. Whereas normally I would only have one set up here, but for purposes that are happening right now. But behind that, and you've probably seen it in some of our other videos, I have my audio set up. I have my topping D90 DAC, which was graciously sent over by Apos Audio, which you should totally check them out at the link in the video description because they are having a Black Friday sale right now, as well as my KRK Rocket limited edition silver studio monitors that allow me to listen to music as decently as I want to. So whenever I'm actually at this station right over here, thankfully, because the D90 DAC actually has Bluetooth, I can play music that side of the office without having to walk over there or have a PC set up that side, even though it would be higher quality. It's just more of a schlep for me to be able to do it. So I don't have to wheel my Flash XL racing chair over here to actually be able to use that. But then also this desk right here is again, an autonomous desk. It is a sit-stand desk that I will have an upcoming video on. I currently haven't done a whole lot with cable management. As you can see, it's sufficient for now, but it's not perfect. And then you can also see that behind there, I do have my PC, which I hook up to one of these TVs because these are 4K 120 Hertz TVs. I've been using the LG NanoCell 40 Nano 85, I believe, but I recently picked up the 48CX, which I'm going to be doing a video on and that likely will be staying here and taking over as the main station. Now, the least glamorous part of this entire office is probably this desk right here. As you can see, it just has a whole bunch of crap on it because it's just whatever project I currently need to be working on or whatever I don't want to keep out in my garage because it's too difficult for me to go walk out there and bring it in. And honestly, I have so much stuff out in my garage because we did have to slim down from a much larger office. So I do have a a bunch of stuff that I'm currently getting rid of online as well, just production equipment that we don't need in a much smaller space. But like this PC right here that we built on Monday on our Twitch live stream, this is getting put here until I'm done with the video, as well as things like this Xbox Series S that I'm currently doing a review of. All of that just kind of stays out here on this nondescript wood desk because that's all it needs to be is keep everything right there. So that's kind of the setup. The Flash XL gaming chair allows me to get to every portion of my office that I need to. It allows me to work at each station effectively and it does so while keeping me completely comfortable for the entire day. And I have so much about this office that I've had to optimize that not worrying about what my butt's feeling has been such a pleasure. I can just sit and work for hours 
on end, especially now that I've had to take on a larger workload because the team is no longer here. It's allowed me to do that effectively. And making sure that I'm optimizing things such as vertical space like this has been a huge boon for me to be able to actually have available floor space to even slide around in. That is something that has been huge for me because having the ability to wheel about your office is something that I didn't realize was a precious resource. But now as I'm scaling down my operation, I realize I need it more than ever. So that's the end of this video. Again, big thanks to Ewin for sponsoring the Flash XL chair as well as sponsoring this video. They've been a huge part of me being able to feel comfortable uh, working completely from home with the entire operation scaling down. So big thanks to them. We do have a link in the video description with them where you can enter code UFD at checkout to save 30% off of the Flash XL in case you need an XL chair or any of their other products. You can get 30% off with code UFD using the link in the video description. And that's gonna be it for this video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Obviously, this has been a rough season. Our team was super uncertain for most of this year. Now we have some certainty, but the fact that they are no longer uh, here physically with us does make things a bit more challenging and finding ways to make that uh, not suck has been high on my priority list. And so, yeah, that that's this video. I, I, I'm doing the best I can, folks. Goodbye.